Water Change Wednesday special event. Stay tuned. Good morning, fishy folks, and happy Water Change Wednesday. In honor of Water Change Wednesday, I'm changing water. In 55 fish tanks, as I stand here holding the phone, no buckets, no pythons, no hoses, just some pretty ugly work, but good work. That's right, we're changing water right now. The only tank I'm not changing water on right now is this fry jar with my Mount Olive kosher pickles. Uh, you can see there's about, I don't know, one, two, three, three hundred fry in there. No, I don't know how many fry are in there, but <clears throat> my latest spawn, uh, they came from this silver and blue zebra and... They've been spawning pretty, pretty regularly for me, so glad I was finally able to raise a batch. I'm expecting a spawn out of these guys soon. I think I missed one. They spawned and I didn't uh, pull the eggs in time. And so they ate them, which is fairly common with angels. Uh, we're just filling up some tanks over here. Um, you know, we had the fish death in these guys and just want to sanitize these tanks and get some more fish in them. I do have to plan for bringing the, the fish from the ponds in. Uh, I don't know what's going to go where. I do have pretty much an empty tank over here. It's just got one bristle nose pleckle in the back. You can see. <coughs> uh, excuse me. And what else? Oh, I have the male guppies in here. We've got the red deltas and some of the steel nebula guppies, just the males. Let's take a look at the steel nebula colony. You can see all the fry growing nice. Um, if you remember, this is a series that we're going to be doing, breeding for profit, steel nebula guppies. Um, yeah, so what else is going on in the fish room? Let's take a look at Bruce's tank. Oh my god! What happened to Bruce's tank? It's cracked. I don't know. Um, I dropped something on it and I didn't think it was a big deal. I think it was just a piece of PVC that went like this and I think it landed here. Cracked. I didn't realize it cracked because I came down a couple hours later and there was water all over the place. Uh, Bruce is still happy, healthy. He's just hanging out in the weeds, probably still sleeping. It's still early. Uh, I'll change his tank when I get around to it. It's really not that big a deal uh, for me. Um, luckily, I'm in a place where when water falls on the floor, it dries rather quickly. The messy floor in the fish room. Uh, what else? We got a feed this morning still. I sent a bunch of orders out yesterday, which was Monday. And uh, there's a heat advisory today here in New Jersey. <coughs> Hopefully those fish have gone on their way. One of them was going to California, so that would hop on a plane. And... Uh, be in uh, California somewhere. Sorry, I was just trying to figure out where that noise was. And I think I do know what the noise is. <clears throat> um, yeah, completely lost my train of thought. That, my folks, is a brain fart. The other one is going to Florida. And believe it or not, it takes two days to get to California, three days to get to Florida. And I believe it's because it flies to California, it drives to Florida. But, yeah. So the, uh, yeah. That's the fish that is never doing well. Never ever has it done well. But I said six months ago, oh, I'm probably gonna have to euthanize that bad boy, but he's living, or she's living. Um, I treated this tank with levamisole and fenbendazole in case, you know, that was a parasite, and that's certainly what it looks like, but every other fish is healthy. There's spawns. I sell fish out of here regularly, actually, uh, to my local fish store and online. And really have had no problems so i don't know what's up with that fish but you know that's what it is if you guys remember these were the uh koi sore tails i got early on in the fish room um from imperial tropicals love me some imperial tropicals what else what else what else what else what else what else so i have two sets of guppies 
and ma a pair of mollies or a set of mollies uh, colony of mollies yeah we'll go with the colony of mollies outside what I think I'm gonna do is put <clears throat> three of the no put the five um, koi angels into one of those tanks over there I also want to put the platinum angels I have in one of those tanks so they're out in the open that corner uh, platinum angel tank I think I'm gonna put the mollies in with some cover so they can continue to spawn and that uh, colony can flourish no flourish that's what I'm trying to say um, the colony of yellow cobra guppies more than likely I'm just gonna put back into the yellow guppy tank which I realize uh, may have one female and three males so I may have to move her or move them four males it looks like she's getting her ass kicked right now I just realized that yesterday and it's been like this all summer so I gotta do something for her um, I may just put them back and treat them I will treat them just as if they were new fish in my fish room uh, just preventatively and then I have that other colony of cobra guppies uh, green cobras I may put them back in here I may you know put them in a different tank and see what what continues to pop out of the females I'm not really sure yet <clears throat> If I do that, they would go in this tank over here, put some more cover in there, and be done with it. My half black guppies have exploded with fry. So if you're interested, let me know. I could probably make you a deal or two on some juveniles. They're just growing like mad. These, uh, these Japanese swordtails also look fantastic. I gotta clean the glass, but yeah, that's what always happens with me. Um... What's been going on over here? I've seen another spawn from the uh, Episto tank. I gotta get on my A game and clean the tank and perhaps pull out most of those dithers that I have. <clears throat> um, you can see the male here. There's actually two males. Uh, it was sold to me as a trio. It's really a reverse trio. It happens. Steve, if you're watching and you want to help me out, that's fantastic. If not, no big deal. It happens. The angels from finbids.com actually they're from uh, the mad scientist himself Daniel Anderson over at hypnotic aquatics in Florida sent these guys to me as a gift thank you very much sir they are growing like mad and looking fantastic um, well, that's good what else these guys haven't spawned in a while I tried some black worms and then uh, here's the thing with black worms live black worms I went and I bought them I think I paid six dollars for a quarter pound and I'm like all right this will last for two or three days of feeding in the fish room I'll feed all the angels I'll feed all the you know the mollies and the I'll feed everything except for I probably wasn't gonna feed the guppies because they've spawned no matter what and I fed once and then I forgot the next day and then I forgot the next day and then I forgot the next day and by now that they're all dead and the water's stinky and I had to throw them away so Make a note if you buy black worms, use them. Ha ha ha. All right, what else, what else, what else? That's it. Water ward change system's working great. Uh, these guys are looking fantastic. The German half black AOCs, looking great and are for sale. My red Moscow colony. I lost all the adults, but I have quite a few fry, so it's just gonna take some time to rebuild, but it will be fine. Uh, black panda guppies, also doing great. Just uh, ship the pair over. Oh, I have this thing too. Just ship the pair to Florida, to Wyatt. So this tank has one female uh, pink pastel steel nebula guppy. I just put her in here. Kind of to start a second colony if she drops fry in here, but she hasn't really, she hasn't dropped fry and she's been in here for about five days, which I'm a little concerned about. Not concerned, but it's a little strange. Thought she dropped fry that night. So I may end up putting her back and putting something else in here. I don't really know. Um, yeah, this this method has worked better for me than my old method. Um, so eventually what I'll do is I'll take these guys when they get a little bit bigger and uh, move them into a five and a half gallon tank with daily 100% water changes to help them grow out, feed the crap out of them extra filtration for uh, extra biological filtration and let them grow out and see what they look like 
Um, system is pretty simple. It's in a tank. Could be a Sterilite container. Could be whatever you have. There's a heater heating both the water in here and the water in here. Uh, the glass jar I sterilized in the dishwasher before I put the spawn in here. Three drops of methylene blue. Um, when they became wigglers, I started changing a little bit of water every day. Um, now this water in here is just regular water from my system. There's nothing special about it. And I should probably sterilize this container too next time, but yeah. Um, and then every day I do 50% water change. That's just what I chose. You could do what you like. And I feed uh, two or three times a day. And to be honest, I should be feeding uh, live baby Brian, but I just didn't have the time nor the uh, 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 wherewithal to do it. So I've been feeding Fish Freaks Plus uh, Fry Starter. No, that's grill. Yeah, Fish Freaks Plus Fry Starter. Uh, what do we have? 55% crude protein. It's like a powder almost. Um, and you can see, you know, the fryer are doing well. So, do you need live baby brine? No. You can use, you know, other things as well. And I chose Fish Freaks Plus because I have very good luck with that in my fish room. All right, fishy folks. I think that's it for now. Hope everyone has a great Water Change Wednesday. If it's not Water Change Wednesday for you, it's certainly Hump Day. Gotta love Hump Day. And uh, that's it. Hey, stay tuned. Stay tuned. That's not what I mean. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Uh, tap that thumbs up button. Just gently caress it. You don't need to smash it just yet. Uh, leave a comment. I do answer every single comment. I happen to like uh, dealing with you guys with questions. And if you see something you like and you want to buy it, certainly shoot me an email at michaelsfishroom at gmail.com. And I'll be happy to send you a price list uh, and talk to you about shipping and stuff. So everyone have a great day. Peace. Good morning, fishy folks in Happer Water Chain. Happer? Water Change Wednesday, special event. Wednesday? What is Wednesday? It's my latest batch of spawn. My latest batch of spawn.